What is going on crypto fam? In today's video, we have over 12 different cryptocurrencies that we're going to cover in the end of week market breakdown. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Vamos, mi gente. Right, let's first start this video off with Bitcoin, of course, the leader of the market. Whatever Bitcoin does has a massive effect on the rest of the market. So we've had corrections for the last three weeks and it has broken below a key level of around 57 to 60,000. This level right here, all this action is a key resistance, which was support for a short while. So it's broken below that and the next structure that is in the way for support is a swing high right here. So we can expect some support at this area, if not below around 49K as well. So 49 to 52 will be the massive support areas that we can make an assumption or predict that it will turn around. If it doesn't turn around at these levels, of course, that's gonna be quite bearish, then we can expect 45, uh, to 46 to be the next support levels. But if it gets to a level that's gonna be slightly worrying to be very honest with you, I uh, don't really wanna see that. So there might be a trend line in play as well. So it's a bit of a steep trend line, but there is there seems to be a trend line in play. Uh, it has, it looks like it's already broken that trend line though. So it's almost like we, we can basically ignore that, but there is potential. These trend lines do have validity so they are legit so potentially i mean there could be a, a quick reversal uh, potentially could wick through and then turn around and hold this trend line as support this is more of a, a smaller probability i would say because the, the financial market at the moment the stock market is in the red there's a lot of sell side pressure there's a new bug in the air I think you know what I mean. So that's making the waves in the UK anyway. I don't know the rest of the world. So this is gonna have a, a, a negative effect on most markets, so. Oh, you know, that's, it, it adds to the case that most likely we won't see a quick reversal. Moving over to XRP. So you can see XRP, there was a counter trend line in play since May time and it's respected it quite well, unfortunately. So it's rejected every time and that's three touches of this counter trend line. So now where are we? We are at support level just below a support level of 93 cents. So it's just below that, you know, and what we can expect is if it carries on pushing downwards, it's gonna end up breaking through that floor support and then heading towards the 80 cent region. If we see a small rejection or a small rally to close above 93, 94 cents, then that could open up the floor. You can see this swing low right here, these wicks that could open up to rally upwards towards $1 once again. However, of course, the, the market, there's a lot of downside pressure, so it's probably more on the bearish side rather than the bullish side. So we can probably expect it to break below and head towards 80 cents very soon. So Chainlink, Chainlink has res been respecting some very, very important levels. If you go back towards February, towards May. So you can see this level $35 or $33. And I think it's high as 35, 37. $33 was a very important level. One, two, three rejections and now it's headed towards the next major level again looking back historically may time 25 dollars it's just broken below that as well unfortunately and this is actually a double top so you can see this beautiful double top uh a classic reversal chart pattern so it's broken below that and broken below this low of 24 25 dollars this has opened up the floor towards $20, which is the next major swing low. You can see a lot of wicks tap that level and then reverse. So that's gonna be the next level to, to watch out for. If we see a nice rejection and bounce from that support level, then Chainlink will probably head to back towards $25. If it breaks below that as well, 
obviously that would be extremely bearish then $15 would be the next level to have a look at the next crypto we're looking at is self key so it has actually been very bullish in the last few weeks so from as low as let's call it eight cents or an eighth of a cent all the way up towards two cents which was a 218 percent increase so it's been very bullish but now of course in the last two weeks bitcoin has been correcting the market has been correcting as well as a result of that and we've had two massive wick uh rejections and unfortunately it wasn't able to stay above this important key level of two cents two massive rejections and what's going to result in that is of course more downside pressure towards the next major level which is around one 1.2 cents so this level as you can see key structure one two and and these two below and even this three kind of tests of that level and that's why we can expect the crypto to make it to find support so we can expect some further downside towards that level of 1.2 cents and maybe even just a bit below 1.1 1.1 cents uh, if it, it managed to hold that level, then I would say a nice little reversal should be in the cards from these levels uh, as, as high as maybe 80%. Really? So back to the kind of highs of two cents. So it's definitely gonna, it's definitely looking like it wants to break lower to carry on moving downwards, especially with these two massive wicks. But there's support, there's a light at the end of the sun right here. So I'll be looking at these two levels for it to find support. Next, we'll have a look at a Lime. So, unfortunately, it's not on TradingView, but you can find it on Gate.io. So, let's move it to the weekly. Okay, so the weekly isn't showing too much uh, information, but of course, we've had three ma or two massive candles, a huge rejection from 27 cents all the way down to 15 cents. But this week over here is rather bullish. So, this is a hammer candle which is a bullish thing, uh, although there isn't any levels to kind of go off of in terms of finding support. So we've got to move to the daily to find out some more information. So this is a nice little uh, descending wedge pattern. So unfortunately, I can't add any uh, drawings to this, but you can imagine a descending trend line and a counter trend line. If it manages to break this counter trend line, this right here, that would be placed right here then potentially it could carry on this bullish trend right here. So this is a bullish wedge pattern, a descending wedge. And if it breaks this level, then we could see some upwards action back towards 25 cents. So this is looking rather bullish. Now maybe it can carry on towards this EMA or this MA, I think this is a 30 MA. So it could carry on towards that level and then find some support or even it can find support at around 10 cents, maybe go a little bit further. But I would say this is, even though it's a, we're currently in a, in a phase of correction, this is looking, it's got potential for a bullish reversal if it breaks this trend line. Right, so now we've got the central line, MANA USDT. So there isn't too much to go by because this is new territory uh, price discovery. So we've got some wick resistance right here it tried to get past uh, and it wicked past but now it's rejected and gone below that but in terms of key levels there isn't too much to go by i would say five dollars is probably the main uh, level that you want to make a note of so if it closes below five dollars which at the moment it is looking likely extremely likely then we could probably expect a reversal down towards potentially two dollars eighty at the very least so we we did see some action some re little reversal at this point so we could expect 280 or maybe even 250 to be the next level if we move it to the daily time frame uh, we can see a nice little swing high right here which has actually been respected as support going forward so three dollars fifty seems to be a key level so potentially if it keeps reversing under five dollars which at the moment it is then we can expect 350 or even even that's a small level 
420 as well so you can see it's it's found it's rejected from that level a few times the only thing is these are not massive swing highs and lows so they have less validity the other area that I would probably look at as I've mentioned is 250 so you can see it's respected 250 now of course there's a, a lot of hype going on with uh, the metaverse so so these tokens could potentially buck the trend and carry on to the upside really but you cannot defy the laws of physics what goes up must correct so this could be the end of the current trend five dollars looks to be a key level that's not getting passed but let's see it could easily just you know as if you've seen here find support and and break to the upside but we'd want to see if the bulls get back in control is a break above this level of 520 so that's it for mana so v chain actually looked looks quite similar to bitcoin in a way you know you've got these two uh, rising swing highs or these rising peaks but unfortunately it's just a short-lived one uh, right now it's broken below key level of 12 cents 12.7 cents so it's opened up the floor to go lower towards 8.9 cents so very simple there's nothing much in between these levels for it to find support so it's most likely going to head towards 8.9 cents and this, this seems to be quite a strong level of support the other thing where it's similar to Bitcoin is there is some of a trend line in play so you can see here two tests of this level but it's absolutely disrespected that trend line in this current week so it's just broken below that um, so you could potentially there could be a reversal as I said similar to Bitcoin but it's unlikely uh, with the current trend of the market so this has really opened up the floor towards uh, 8.9 cents Polkadot, now Polkadot of course every coin is just correcting at the moment but Polkadot has been correcting since it made a new all time high at around 52 to 54 oh, $54 I did mention this in my private telegram group These were this was one of my the levels that I was looking to sell so as you can see the level is actually 47.60 but it just broke through that level and then went all the way to $54 but you know I've got my targets which I've, I made previously I know that I knew that pocket was going to reach these levels so I took my 10 I think at 10 or 20 percent I took out at around 52 54 50 I think for around 52 dollars you got to have targets and you got to stick to them okay. it's very very important and I luckily I got I catch I caught the top of that but now if, of course it's lost a ton of value uh, and it's now broken below an important level of a previous high of $35 there is somewhat of a counter trend line in play as you can see it's respected three times so potentially it could find support around $31 and reverse if it doesn't do that then there's still levels uh, around actually where it is right now 33 you've got another swing low at 32 and then you've got another one at $30 so I don't expect it to go lower than $30 but it's possible but I would say that's one of the key levels you can see it broke above 30 and then it was a false breakout below 30 and then instantly reversed and went on the uptrend so I think $30 is the key level to watch out for with Polkadot so UOS or Ultra has been extremely bullish in the last few weeks since early October it's gained almost three, 300% or over 300% so potentially it could be running out of fuel especially with the amount of sell side pressure that's going on right now now of course we have a very very key level around one dollar so we could potentially expect this to reverse all the way down to one dollar potentially now in terms of key levels we go by the big round numbers so the next key level if it can hold is two dollars if it can hold two dollars then this this bull run this rally could potentially continue if not two dollars then i would say 150 is the next major level that it can find support at these are levels that people are going to be looking at uh, when it starts to reverse if we move to the daily time frame perhaps there is 
some further information. This actually looks rather bullish, this pattern right here. So, somewhat of a, a U shaped pattern, like a cup and handle. If it can hold at least this support level of 210, if it can hold that and then break above the previous high of 230, so if we can hold these two levels, then we could potentially see a continuation of the rally. Uh huh. Uh, and then the next levels are most undoubtedly going to be um, 250. If it breaks that, then of course, what do we expect? It could easily rally towards three dollars. So those are the levels for ultra. So DFIN or DFIN, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. This looks like it might be finished bottoming out. So we've got somewhat of a double bottom right here. So these are levels mm -hmm. acting as the floor and it seems to be finding support here. Now it's not done just yet, but if we can see a reversal from this area of around 45 cents, then it looks like it's time to reverse and move to the upside. Uh huh. If it, if it starts to do that, if we can see a strong bounce from that level, then we can see 60 cents being the next major resistance level and then followed by 75 cents. If it reverses though, I'll be very bullish with the upside because if this is the bottom, then the risk to reward, reward ratio it's going to be very high for whatever targets you have so you could easily pop that put the stop loss even as low as 13% below and then this could be any of you any of your targets and the risk to reward ratio is 3 at the first target and then 4 just over 4 in the next target and then you know if it breaks those levels then it could easily head towards $1.25 and so on, and the risk to reward ratio for that is very high, 13.5. So, I'll definitely be keeping my eye, on, eye out on this crypto. So it's an easy 40%, potentially 55%, and then maybe 1.6x if it breaks these levels. Now, the key thing is, of, of course, we've got to wait for the level for the levels to be respected and for the bounce to happen, but it's potential that this could be the bottom. Next we have ERN, but I believe that's Eternity. So ERN is looking similar to some of the other cryptos, Crow or crypto, crypto.com and also Audius. So this is a nice symmetrical triangle that's in. If it can break out of this symmetrical triangle with which is respected beautifully, if it can break out of this, then there could be huge upside awaiting this crypto. Now, as shown by crypto.com, which I've made an example of before, there could, this could be huge upside awaiting these kind of moves. So is it gonna make a, you know, a good three, four X? We don't know, but you can expect a nice, oh, not ETH.com. You can expect a nice rally if it breaks out of this kind of pattern. So that's all I can say about ERN. Let's wait for potential breakout if it breaks below. It's unfortunate we could probably see a move towards 8.7, 8.8 or just as low as 10.3 as the support level. But if it breaks to the upside, of course, we're going to see 18.7 and then potentially to the moon so firstly there'll be 25 and then probably 30 dollars as the upside conservative upside target so last but not least we have swash usd so on the weekly it doesn't look too good to be fair you know you've got uh the launch which has resulted in massive rejection from 109 freaking hell <laughs> that's insane i don't know what kind of manipulation is going on here but 50x 50 thousand percent i believe that's 50x 
Yeah, 50x. So moving to the daily time frame. This actually looks, I've seen this pattern before, it looks like a rounding bottom. So this pattern is beautiful. It's like an accumulation pattern. So there is quite a lot of potential for this. If it holds this level, these ranges, if it holds that and moves to the upside, then there could be huge, huge upside for this. There's one crypto that I saw that springs to mind similar pattern is Cardena. I'll show you kind of similar. You see this massive kind of rounding bottom, different size, uh, and it takes quite a bit of time. But from May 21, just kind of rounding all the way, and it started to turn around around August 21, and then broke out of the pattern, and this is the result. So that is what potentially could be happening with swash usd uh, now it's not it's a lot earlier there's a lot less time because this has only happened at the beginning of or the end of october beginning of november but this is the kind of pattern that i'm seeing this rounding bottom so i'll be keeping a close eye on this as well if it breaks out of this pattern and starts to rally i'm all the way in so that'll be all for this video I'm sure you got some value from that. A lot of different cryptos. Shout out to the members because they're all um, suggestions from the members. So big shout out to the members for suggesting all these cryptocurrencies. There's a lot of potential right there, a lot of opportunity. And of course, also this we're still in the corrective phase. So you've got to bear that in mind. And a lot of cryptos, of course, are discounted. So the ones you believe in, the ones that have faith in, make sure it's a dollar cost average in that. That'll be all for this video. See you in the next one.